Okay, hi, this is Amaya Renata again uh, with another tutorial for IMBU using GIMP. And today we're going to be doing a simple ball gown halter dress type outfit. It's uh, The mesh is done by Derilli. I'll put the link for this mesh um, in the description. First, what you're going to do is grab both of these by right clicking and click save picture as, which I've already done. You have to save it, do the same on both. Then what I just do is open this one here, which will be saved as cross halter dress map okay now open up go to your layers tab click new layer make sure it's transparent you can do whatever you want with yours I'm gonna do a black and white stripe um, go to edit fill with background color Come over here on your layers panel and make this layer, take the opacity down a little bit so you can see what you're doing. Now go back to your layers tab, do new layer, transparent, okay. And then I'm going to take my paintbrush brush size let's make that circle 15 I think now let's make it circle 19 it's the biggest one make sure your foreground color is white Click, hold your shift key down, and make a straight line. Oops, sorry, that's from a earlier thing. I forgot to take my fade off. And then just randomly. Make sure it's a straight line. And those squiggly lines kind of look bad. <laughs> um, okay. And just keep doing this until you have straight lines all the way across. Okay. I'm going to bring the opacity up on that black layer. And merge the white stripes down. Now I'm going to take my opacity down again so I can see what I'm doing. Go to layer, new layer. Again, make sure it's transparent. Take your brush size down to circle 07 and come down here below your brush settings. Go to fade out, change the length to about 50. Kind of do a slight loop around where the uh, chest area would be. 
Now, duplicate that layer. Go to layer, transform, flip horizontally. And then go to layer, merge. Now you're going to go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur. Mm, just experiment with this until it looks right. Um, Um, that'll uh, go back to your main layer and just see how that looks. Um, you do it that way. I'm going to try to make it more shiny, so I am going to take my opacity back down. I'm going to delete this top layer and redo it. Layer, new layer, transparent. And I'm going to take the fade out to, to 35 instead of 50. Now, layer, duplicate that layer, go to layer again, transform, flip horizontally. Then you merge that layer down. Okay, again, take your main layer. And I'm going to save that as um, The Villa JPEG. I'll know what it is. <laughs> I'll just save it, whatever, whatever you want to name it. Um, then I'm going to open up IMVU. I already have the uh, mesh loaded. Um, this is what it looks like. So I just kind of brainstormed a little bit, so I'm going to go back and change mine up a little bit. Take the main opacity down a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. Go up to your top layer, click on that. Go to layer, new layer, transparent. I want to make the strings and stuff black after a certain point, so... I am going to just fill this part with black and then paint with my big brush. Where did my big brush go? There it is. Everything right here black. Take the fade off. Okay. No. That should work. Alright. It looks kind of funky there, but it'll look better on the... And voila. There, I feel better about that now. <laughs> And 
And if you want to, you could put a little bit of highlight on the um, back of the dress around here. Um, if you want it to really look like it's a tight fitting, I'll show you how to do that really quick. Again, take your main layer opacity down just a little bit so you can see what you're doing. Go to your top layer, go to the layer, new layer, transparent. Make sure your foreground color is white. Take your brush down to circle 13. Just do one little dot like right here where there's like a whole bunch of little circles and stuff or triangles and stuff. Um, because that would be right where that area is. Duplicate that layer. Go to layer again. Flip horizontally. Merge. And just blur it. Just a little bit. Mine's kind of got a PVC look. So I'm trying not to blur it too much. 